Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital and welcome to today's update. We're going to be focusing on a wide variety of different altcoins suggested by you guys in the newsletter. This is going to be a pre-launch special of what I'm trying to do in the newsletter. It's going to be a technical analysis session of a wide variety of different altcoins. We're going to be focusing on 14, I believe, altcoins suggested by you guys, requested by you guys in the comments to my newsletter or also in direct messages. But this is essentially a session that I'm going to be wanting to do on a weekly basis for subscribers of the newsletter. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to make the most of the early bird discount of less than 50 cents per newsletter which is a fantastic deal so if you'd like to subscribe to the newsletter check out the link in the description down below and let's focus on ethereum first so ethereum has recently broke back into its eight percent range of 360 to 391 and what may be taking place right now is range bound movement similar to what we saw in mid-september so what that means for ethereum is that it could continue to as far as 391 just because it's in this range bound period very similar to what we saw a few weeks back so that's the stance on ethereum at the moment but well, Ethereum is trying to catch up to Bitcoin's price action at the moment. Bitcoin has broken out and we're seeing Ethereum lag a bit. But as long as Bitcoin continues to move upwards or even just maintain its current highs, Ethereum is going to rally into 391. Moving on to Litecoin, it is increasingly looking like this portion of price action, this fake out into this sideways reaccumulation range over here, this fake out into that range is very looking very similar to what we're seeing right here right now because if we just zoom in it's trying to break past the top of this reaccumulation range right over here and if we get that weekly candle close like this we're going to probably test this level as a support and we'll probably rally towards the upper boundaries of around $54, roughly speaking, which is also confluent with the downtrending resistance dating back to mid-December 2017. So I'm just going to be watching for this weekly candle close and for Litecoin to reclaim this uh, reaccumulation range top as a support for it to springboard towards the upside. I think this would be a 10%, 16% rally of sorts into the lower $50. Moving on to VeChain, VeChain has retraced a considerable amount since its overextension into this wicking top over here. And we were talking this week on the channel that this blue level wasn't going to hold in terms of just offering that support for price to bounce into a trend reversal. But we managed to actually wick towards a level that I've been watching since late July of this year. And that wick has produced an 11% rally since the previous video. And what I'm gonna be watching for for VeChain is to actually close on the weekly above this blue support level, because if it can do that, we might have some legs. This rally could have some legs and we might see a a stronger rally towards the upside but it's really important that we weekly close over here because if we don't and we actually close like this just below the blue level this will have been a bounce into this resistance and we might see this level become tested once again but for the time being VeChain needs to close on the weekly above this blue area for it to have an extended rally towards the upside. Nothing too crazy, not a long term uh, trend reversal by any means, not at this stage at least but let's see how it closes on the weekly. Chainlink is actually looking fantastic. It was able to print a higher low relative to its previous low and also tap into this really strong support error that we've been talking about here on the channel. And now it's rallied 18% breaking past both downtrending resistances and now we're seeing a pullback just to retest the top of this diagonal resistance this multi-week downtrending resistance it's trying to retest this successfully and if it does we'll see continuation after breaking this multi-week diagonal resistance. So Chainlink is positioning itself very nicely for continuation. It just needs to flip this diagonal into support and we'll see a springboard into higher price levels. Moving on to CHZ, chills. This is a macro view 
on chills or however you pronounce that name really this is the macro view on this coin and we're holding this uptrending resistance or at least this uptrending trend line and we tend to see fake outs past these trend lines whether that's a fake out past this trend line towards the downside or whether that's a fake out past this trend line towards the upside so we do see these fake outs but generally we tend to see holding of this support so if chc can actually hold here this higher low we're probably going to see a revisit of this level which is a midpoint of sorts for this macro triangle but of course if we can't hold here then we're going to revisit this support area right over here and that's where we tend to see quite a lot of buyers waiting for for their chance to purchase some CHZ. Here's FET Fetch. This is a coin that we covered earlier this week and we have seen a bounce from this region, this support area, picture perfect almost, with a little bit of wicking below this area. But in any case, this was a very key support level which is gonna always yield a bounce. But I still believe that this is going to be a bounce that is lesser than the 33% rally that we saw earlier this year. So this bounce is 18%, but in any case, this was just a rebound from here and we're probably gonna follow through on this blue pathway and revisit the blue box in the coming weeks. Moving on to swipe, this was also a coin that we were covering quite extensively on the channel, specifically a week or two ago. This was when Swipe was in this flagging structure and it broke out from here, but this was a very strong resistance which really rejected price back into what is essentially a range. So we're now seeing a double bottom for Swipe over here, but we can't forget the fact that it's in a range at the moment. So this is just range bound movement. We're gonna see some consolidation within this range and depending on which trigger point we breach first, whether it's this one into a breakout or this one into a breakdown. And of course, if we do break down from here, we'll revisit this support region. At the moment, that's all Swipe is doing. It's consolidating after that rejection. So it's gonna try and find a base, some sort of price strength confirmation and stability in this range before setting on a directional bias nothing too crazy here consolidation until further notice if we think about Wi-Fi yearn finance it's a very similar situation where it's just range bound movement at the moment so really we're just trying to find a direction here if we can break past this range high then we'll probably revisit this area right over here this was a previous support area and it'll probably be a a new resistance error uh, but in any case range bound movement for Wi-Fi at the moment but it's a fantastic rebound altogether this is also something we were talking about on the channel that after the head and shoulders breakout this would be the support area that Wi-Fi has to find some buyers in order to rebound and you can see how much of a downward wick it produced really digging deep into that pool of liquidity but managing to rally 60% since the bottom of the support area so it's been a magnificent rally for buyers who were just stacking their buy orders in this area of historical demand but in any case consolidation until further notice very similar to swipe in that sense here's acro yet another altcoin suggested by you guys in the ta requests acro has had an extended period of downside and it's reaching a support area right over here and the thing to bear in mind here is we're seeing a bullish divergence on the rsi and on the price action and this is something i talk more about in my technical analysis course so if you're interested in learning more about the advanced techniques for using the rsi in conjunction with the price action check out the link in the description down below for the technical analysis course because the rsi is suggesting to us that there may be some hidden strength in the price action after an extended period of downside it'll be very important to watch out for the RSI and how the RSI will behave on this recent bounce but in any case we are reaching this support area and we're seeing these bullish divergences in price so really important for Acro to just maintain its stability within this area and we could see a flick up in its price action. Moving on to XMR Monero you can see how this overall has been a fantastic base of support for Monero it's flicked up since then broken out from its range over here and it's continuing its upward trajectory, but it is running into a bit of resistance over here. It would need to clear that in order to reach this range over here and even have a chance at reaching this blue level over here. So 
this is the reference point. This is the reference point for Monero. If it breaks past here, then we're going to come back into this range over here. But if it can't, then we're going to just continue to uh, occupy this sideways channel for Monero's price action. So this really is the reference point for price. I don't see Monero breaking down into this range. I do feel like it would maintain this support quite nicely if it were to reject from here. But in any case, we are range bound. Essentially, we are primed for range bound movement if we reject from here, range bound over here. But if we break out, we're also going to be primed for range bound movement, but in this range. So in any case, this appears to be the range for Monero with this being the midpoint. Essentially, are we going to be in the lower half of the range or are we going to be in the upper half of the range? This is the the directional bias reference point that will dictate which way we'll go. And this is theta token or theta token, however you pronounce it. It's never clear in this space just from the tickers. Everybody pronounces it differently. But in any case, we've seen an exponential rally from uh, this coin and there are there is a bit of weakness here after topping out this sort of higher high on price isn't looking too good and of course you could try to make this into a falling wedge channel i'd be very cautious in doing that it is looking a bit weak after this exponential price action i could be wrong of course i would be cautious though with just drawing a falling wedge on this because if we break down from here we don't have much support on the way down until this blue area. So really important to be cautious after this exponential rally. Let's try and find some support, some stability, because at the moment it's still just hanging in the air with no real historical support uh, in its price history. So really important, really important not to jump to the conclusion that this is a falling wedge and just watch out for this historical support error because you are seeing bounces from here weakening with each bounce. Really important, really important to just be cautious here because if we break down from this support, we'll probably see a little bit more of a dive into lower price levels. And this is IOTEX, another coin suggested by you guys. We're probably gonna see further downside and it is looking weak overall after especially this sort of volatile rally towards the upside, but we are gonna see a bit more retracement. This is the next level of some sort of market reaction, but historically, this level hasn't really done well in holding support. You can see that over here time and again. But recently we had some sort of bounce and I do feel if we were to find support here and the probability isn't really skewing in its favor that there will be a support bounce here. But if we do manage to daily candle close after tapping this level, we'll see a relief rally of sorts. But it's really important to just be mindful of the fact that this is the range that will most likely find more stability. But in any case, there is no clear setup for this coin. There is a lot of weakness still after that exponential rally. So I'm just gonna watch out for how this cools down, how this coin cools down, whether it will cool down in this range and to just take it from there. And this is the last coin in this TA session. SNX has had a extreme rally towards the upside. It's been retracing ever since. And the thing to bear in mind here, without doing uh, too many drawings on the chart, I'm just going to invert this chart just to showcase to you guys what the macro picture is looking like at the moment. Because you, the, if we just invert the chart, it looks like we are actually reversing from here, right? It looks like we've bottomed out where we have a little bit of a inverse head and shoulders situation where that's the left shoulder head, right shoulder breakout. And we're holding this red trend line over here. So that's a sort of higher low. And we could see some retracement towards this red trend line once again. But overall, this looks like a reversal formation. And remember, guys, this is the inverted chart. So this looks like a bullish reversal. But indeed, if we just go back to the actual price action, this looks like a topping out structure. So really important to just wait for some sort of retracement, a bit more retracement. This would be one of the areas of support that would be really important to hold. Otherwise, we're gonna see a very strong drop. But in any case, no setup for me. I wouldn't be trading this at all. This looks like it's just 
trying to cool down after the retrace with still some retracement likely to go. And having said that guys, that's about it for today's video update. This is a TA session that I'm going to be running regularly on the newsletter for newsletter paid subscribers. This was a pre-launch special. Of course, I'm launching the newsletter this Monday. Super excited about it. Today was a pre-launch special just showcasing what sort of content you can expect on the newsletter. So if you're interested in becoming a subscriber, make the most of the early bird discount and sign up today check out the link in the description down below and having said that that's about it for today's video i'm rect capital and i'll speak to you in the next one speak soon